Hello everyone, this is going to be the third video in the series. Today I want to describe the record steps button. It does what it sounds. Basically, it will record your mouse and keyboard events and delays between them. Once all the steps recorded, they are collected as commands into the selected macro and appended at the end. User could then replicate using the execute button. Please note that as of now, it will not record your mouse scrolling events. So let me show you a very brief example. I want to create a macro which refreshes the desktop. So I will begin by adding idle command at the start. So that could have some time to minimize the app before macro execution. Press here, right click, then one, two, three down arrow keys and enter to refresh. So this is it. At the top, we see some commands added when we were minimizing, which we obviously don't need, hence we'll delete them. So let's run and see if it could replicate. It did. Remember, this button will never generate the output commands as efficient as you will add them manually from this below panel because below panel enables great shortcuts and will be more stable and less prone to errors. See you in the next one.